Okay, race fans, welcome one more time. Two times, two times. Actually, two more times to the Ultimate Evo Stage 2 Championship. Here we go. Hold my beer, hold my beer, hold my beer, guys. Hold my beer, hold my beer, hold my beer, guys. <laughs> hey, race fans, this is Richard Gear, and before the Hold My Beer Guys was my co host, Aaron Take. Now you're looking at the top 16 that moved on from stage one. Stage two, group three is about to happen. Give a big hand for Champagne Peppy, Iceman, Numbskull, and Fat Dad. It's time to get the party started. Race one is about to begin. These four, of the four, two of them will move on. Champagne Peppy's on the outside, Fat Dad, Numbskull's in the red, and Iceman's in the black, and Champagne Pappy has just blasted out of the lead. Now, it's Numbskull first onto the onto the Joker lane, but look at the way, Champagne Pappy, wow, just about off the road, and onto runway three. Listen, and you don't even hear the other drivers in the picture. Okay, they're back there in the ways, and here comes Champagne Pappy. <laughs> the timer couldn't even keep up with him. I wonder if he got in 22 seconds. And there goes Iceman, Fat Dad, and Numbskull. Wow, race fans, let's go to the instant replay. Look at how high Champagne Pappy hits the wall, coming into the Mesa Butte Drift. And he is just barely clipped by Fat Dad. I think that actually helped him. And as he comes over the train jump, he jumps over the entire landing ramp, just about comes off the road. But as soon as he was back on, down runway three, see how far ahead he is. Notice he's hitting a, a weed, a tumbleweed here, and then he kicks over it. This is in real time as he kicks it right out there. Now you see it. And the other three drivers come around. They get caught up on the rail. And down the scrambler, let's flash the score, Champagne Pappy, two points over the train and first place gives him seven. That dad has a third place finish and one over the train. Iceman has three. But race fans, look at the time that the backup timer gave. <laughs> oh my goodness, race fans, can you believe it? Blue Line Racing, Champagne Pappy has just set a track record, 22.350. He came part way off the track ran over a tumbleweed and still finished like a half a second ahead of the fastest yeah. time. Yeah, that's just crazy. All right, let's get back to racing. Fat Dad, he's on the outside. Numbskull's next to him. Okay, the Iceman is in lane two, but it is BLR in the lead right now. Now Iceman is right behind him, but the blue streak is streaking ahead. Numbskull hits the inside of the wall and Champagne Pappy has the lead. I see Numbskull just barely. And here comes Champagne Pappy. Okay, we're looking at the other drivers. There's quite a collision going on back there. Iceman and Fat Dad are having troubles, but oh my goodness, a 23.3 second run, and no other drivers finish. Let's begin up here at the Mesa Butte. Numbskull hits the inside wall. He does manage to continue, but he and Fat Dad are going backwards. Both of them made it over the train, but as you know, nothing is going to count for these drivers because here is where chaos ensued on runway three, and there you see Numbskull stuck around the big U, I feel like a broken record, but Champagne Pappy takes the lead, Numbskull gets stuck, and the other two drivers also zero their efforts. Champagne Pappy now leads with 12, and the next closest drivers are Iceman and Fat Dad with three. Okay, race three, and Iceman, Numbskull, they're on the outside. They get their chance over the train. Fat Dad is closest to us, and guess who is taking the lead? The blue streak, but look at Iceman pull right up and just ahead. Champagne Pappy has the lead though on the Joker lane and nicely done. Oh wow, just about off the track is Iceman, but he continues. I saw Numbskull and I did see Fat Dad, but the leader is Champagne Pappy down the scrambler. He will take first, great time. Here comes Fat Dad, Iceman and Numbskull in fourth. The race began quite well for Iceman on the inside there as he spins around and Numbskull holds it together. Both of them go over the train for two points and one point, respectively. There is Blue Line Racing, and gone he is. Numbskull is dealing with a part of the debris from the bushes, but he continues on, and Fat Dad. Look at the top of the screen and watch as Fat Dad comes onto the scrambler and actually goes off the track, through the tumbleweeds, and manages to hold it together for a second place finish. Iceman comes in third, and he will add two more points for crossing the train. Numbskull finishes in last, but has an extra point over the train. Well, we know who's going to win this round, but the question will be whether Iceman, Fat Dad, or Numbskull will join him. Now, Iceman has a chance for extra points. He's on the outside, um, and it's Blue Line in the lead. Hey, uh, Richard, 
Did you know Blue Line can get a perfect score if he doesn't DNF? And here they come onto... Oh, Aaron, why did you go and jinx Blue Line? Oops. Here comes Iceman over the train jump, and now he has Turtle. There's Numskull. Numskull is coming down off the Joker lane. If he finishes in first, he will be moving on. And around the big U, and oh my goodness, now he is going backwards. He is stuck, and ladies and gentlemen, it looks like we have a four-way DNF. Did I uh, jinx all four of them? Aaron, some things are best unsaid. Well, let's just take a one quick look here at some great drifting by Iceman making his way around a stranded Champagne Pappy. But it didn't take long before he found himself out of the race, and here comes Numskull. Fat Dad was having trouble on the runway, and at this point, if Numskull would have finished, he would have gone on. Five more points definitely would have put him in second place. Race fans, this is the restart of race four. Iceman, Champagne Pappy, Fat Dad, Numskull's on the inside. There's the green light. Hopefully we have some more success. Then Ford DNF says, I'm not going to say another word. And Champagne Pepe has a good drift. He's coming around. And it looks like Iceman is stranded. Now the luck has turned to the blue streak as he makes his way down. And once again, I don't hear any other driver but Champagne Pepe coming down the scrambler. He goes and through the finish line. Oh, my goodness. Another fantastic time. Numskull takes second. Oh, here comes Fat Dad, and Iceman does finish. Are you tracking? Let's begin on the Mesa Butte, and keep your eyes on the black car, as Iceman has to put it in reverse, turn around, and continue, but he does so successfully. He misses the train. Now that's no points, but keep in mind, he finishes the race. Champagne Pappy comes in first, Numskull in the red in second, Fat Dad takes third, and... After the final scores are in, look at that. Champagne Pappy has a perfect 24. What an accomplishment. And for Iceman and Fat Dad, you two are going to a sudden death race off. Take a look at this, race fans. Champagne Pappy, BLR, has the top two fastest track times, both in the 22 second range. It's time for a sudden death race off, the best of three. Who's going to join Champagne Pappy? On the outside, with the higher seed, is Iceman. Fat Dad is in lane two closest to us. There's the green light, off they go, and Iceman has a lead, and it looks like it was Fat Dad having a bit of trouble through the snow. Well, he's still racing though, and Iceman pulls nicely around the Mesa Butte, and through the S turns, he's got the lead onto runway three. Uh-oh, he's spinning around. Here comes Fat Dad, and wow, what a gorgeous pass. Around on the big U, he got him on the inside, spinning through for the first place finish. What a nice move. Fat Dad is up by one. Fat Dad is now on the outside. He will have the main lane and actually has the advantage on the Mesa Butte with a good drift. He's pulling out just slightly ahead of the Iceman. And drifting, but oh, one little bump and he slowed up some. Iceman's coming around the Joker lane looking awfully good. And he's around the right, sharp right turn onto runway three. Is he gonna hold it together? Yes, he is. Around the big U this time, he is ahead of Oh! Oh, and he's upside down, he's right side up, and he's through. Okay. Wow, the race is tied. One to one in sudden death. Now we're looking at the third race. One of these two drivers is going to move on. Iceman has the lead. Fat Dad is pulling around behind. And that was a pretty good drift. Iceman is backwards. How's he going to navigate through the s -turns? He's looking good, and right now, he's got a lead over, over the Fat Dad. Fat Dad better get moving and moving and moving. Here he comes around, but he's behind and backwards and through. The finish, Iceman will take the win. Wow, what an incredible event this has been. This is group three, and we've witnessed two track records and a sudden death race off. Look at the six up on there who are moving on, and group four is coming up with Dusty Miles, Cloaked After Dark, Craigster Sr., and Big Mike. <laughs> my beer hold i'm gonna sing hold my beer guys are you tracking 